Foodies in the know know that for great breakfast, lunch, and dinner, it's Gabriel's Restaurant in Knightsville. 39 Phoenix Ave in Cranston is where you'll find this little gem that will be celebrating their fourth anniversary later this month. But don't be fooled. Four years here is just the cherry on the Sunday for Gabe Ferry, his wife Sherry Ann, and a family who've spent a lifetime in the business. In uh, 1984, we opened our first restaurant. It was Michael's Family Restaurant in Warwick. Uh, my parents, myself, uh, we started it, and uh, that was there for 22 years. Uh, so we had been doing it quite a long time. Uh, after that point, my wife and I opened up a second place, uh, Soul Street Cafe, which is another six-year venture. Yes, it's a warm feeling that you get here. The Ferry family invites you in, and customers quickly become friends. Their Italian food is scratch, home-style cooking at its best. It's a mom-and-pop operation in the very best sense for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's not unusual to see them in on a day off, hosting a private event, or doing whatever it takes. And as for the Ferry Family Recipe Bible, he credits his mom. We're used to having that type of uh, Italian food around all the time, uh, soup to nuts. And trust me on this, they offer great breakfast, and they do it in an immaculate environment. Basic breakfast menu. And then at that point, it goes on. We do uh, things like we do a, a grilled polenta. We do a baked apple pancake. Uh, we make our own crepes, homemade crepes that we fill with. Basically, anything, anything you want in it, we'll fill it. Uh, it's, a, it's breakfast and, and more. There's so much, uh, so much more that we offer. Uh, mimosas, we have, uh, we have a full bar, so we're able to do that for them, Bloody Marys, things like that. We want people to walk in, smile. They want, want to walk out full. And, and the price is right. So you have to be fair and offer the best, best quality and best food we can do. For Eyewitness News this morning, I'm TV maitre d' Joe Zito with this week's Quick Bite.